Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my July-August favorites. Alright, so let's just jump right into the video. So I'm going to start off with a cleanser that I have been loving. It is by Dermaquest and it is the Sea Infusion Cleanser. This is great for after my makeup's all off, right before I go to bed and just cleanse my face with it. And it's been doing a great job. It smells really nice. It smells like actual oranges, not that artificial like Sunny D type of orange smell. It's really nice, really gentle on the skin. So yeah, I've been really loving that. The next thing I'm going to talk about is something that I am new to the world of, which is perfumes. This is very different for me because I don't generally gravitate towards purchasing perfumes, but since I do own the Elizabeth and James Nirvana dry shampoo and I am obsessed with the smell, I thought I might as well just go ahead and buy a little rollerball of the actual perfume. I've been wearing this so much, such a dark, sexy kind of smell. It's very warm, it's cologne-like because I kinda like smelling like a dude, so it's perfect for me. So, as you probably know, I have been trying out a lot of skin products the past month, and I am completely over the moon with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This stuff is I think my new holy grail. I'm pretty sure it beats my Too Faced Born This Way, which is a big, 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 big statement, but it is that good. They say it's an oil absorbing foundation and I didn't really understand what that meant until I wore it. The oil that I would normally produce on my face just disappears into thin air. I don't understand. I don't get it, but this foundation is amazing. The only downside is that it does oxidize, so do go into the store, swatch it on your chin, make sure you have the right shade after it oxidizes, but once you get your shade right, you're golden. I have only been wearing this foundation and it has been a godsend. I haven't even been wearing it with any mattifying primers underneath, that's how good the product is. But I have learned that there is a certain way that I personally have to apply it for it to look its best. One pump is too much for me, I know I did that in my first impression review video, and it still looked beautiful at the end of the day, but I tried doing like half to three quarters of a pump, and it looked so much more flawless at the end of the day. And I have a pretty big face anyway, so the fact that I don't have to even use an entire pump for it to be amazing full coverage is pretty great. Next up, I have been loving this highlighter by Ofra. It is You Do You in collaboration with Dupe That on Instagram. It is an amazing, perfect, peachy, champagne, gold kind of tone. It is a tiny bit powdery. Like it's the tiniest bit, like it's no Anastasia highlight, but it is absolutely stunning and especially when you wet the brush, this thing is like liquid gold on your cheeks. I think my favorite way to use this is actually eyeshadow. I have it in my inner corner and across my lid today as well as the rest of my face. And it is such a gorgeous color. It almost gives that glossy lid effect on the eyes which I am very into. Now I have a little bit of a fashion favorite. These glasses have been my go-to for the past couple months, ever since I got them. I got them off ASOS and I don't know if I'm blinding you or what, but they're reflective and silver and beautiful. I really love that the design is a mixed metal, so the frame is gold while the lens is silver. And I like the shape because they're not your typical round pair of glasses, they're a little bit bigger. It makes them very unique because I haven't seen any glasses that are this shape. And now I have some lip favorites, starting off with the nude color, Satin Cream by Colored Rain. In Incredible. It's a beigey pink nude. It's more on the neutral side, but it still has that pink to add that little bit of warmth. And it is what I am wearing on my lips right now in combination with the lip liner that I have been loving by Jordana. This is in the shade Rock and Rose, and it's pretty much the same color as the Satin Cream liquid lipstick. The only difference I'd say with the lip liner is it's a slight bit more muted, but in combination, it gives a nice kind of ombre effect to the lips. Next up, this is DNA Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in TKO, I believe. The sticker is gone. Where did you go, sticker? This red is so good, and I'm sure I've talked about DNA Cosmetics before, because they are such an underrated brand. They have amazing products, and this shade has been on my lips non-stop. The formula almost reminds me of the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks, because it is quite a liquidy formula, which is what I personally prefer. And like the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks, they are very pigmented, so one sweep gets you full coverage color. I don't know, I've been really getting into red lipsticks again, and this this one is just top notch. If any of you follow me on my Instagram, you'll know that I have been living 
for orange lips lately. I don't know what it is. I never used to like orange lipstick. I honestly hate the color orange. I don't know. I just get in ruts with color schemes or certain products and I just keep wearing it over and over again and lately it's been OTT on some bronzer and an orange lip. This shade by Beauty Bakery I would say is not a super obvious orange. It's more so a orangey tone but more in the coral family but it is beautiful nonetheless and I have a bunch of pictures of me in this on my Instagram as well. This lip whip is in the shade Hibiscus Mango Tea and all of you know how much I love Beauty Bakery and this lip whip is no exception. It is such a beautiful formula. Beautiful color, stays in the lips all day and it is smudge proof. Okay, enough about lips moving on to eyes. The only favorite I have for the eyes today is this ColourPop Gel Liner. It is in the nude shade. I've obviously used it enough where the label has rubbed off. I will put the shade name in the description, but it is just the nude color. I prefer putting a nude shade in my waterline just because it looks less stark than a white. So it does open up the eyes and it does add brightness without being too bright where it looks super obvious. I do have a love-hate relationship with ColourPop products, but this one was so impressive. As far as I've seen, all of the ColourPop gel liners are super opaque, very pigmented, so definitely a product to try out. And my final favorite that I'm sure you've heard of by pretty much everyone on YouTube is the Tarte Shape Tape. I hate to say it, but I think this beats my NARS Creamy Concealer. I love my NARS Creamy Concealer, and I still do, but for under the eyes, this is incredible. I have never used a concealer that does not crease at all. I was working a wedding yesterday. I started at 8 in the morning and I ended at 8 o'clock at night and there was nothing settling in. It looks completely flawless as if I had applied it like two hours ago. I would say it's the same feel as the Too Faced Born This Way concealer with the coverage of the NARS Creamy Concealer. The only downside to this is that it smells like grandma's and I don't understand why you would scent a concealer ever. The second downside is that the shade range kind of sucks. It's six or seven shades and that's it. I mean, it's not very accessible for those of you with incredibly light or incredibly deep skin tones. I do fall in that middle category, but it's just unfortunate because it limits who can purchase this concealer. So those are the only two downsides, and I'm really hoping they come out with some more shades because it is such a beautiful concealer. Like, I am going to buy every single one of these for my kit because they're that good. Like, it's so good. Make sure you get your hands on this. This is gold. All right, and those are my favorites for July and August. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe while you're here and give this video a like. Also, don't forget to follow me on my socials just to stay updated with what's going on with me and my channel. If you have any requests, please leave them in the comment section below because I would love to see what you guys want to see from me. I will leave links for all of these products and my makeup details in the description box below, so go ahead and check those out. And with that being said, I'm out of here. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you in the next one.